Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about avoiding STDs or STIs from the perspective of a porn star slash sex worker. And this is just what I have found works best for me based on my experiences. And as far as my number of people that I've been with, it's well, well in excess um, of a thousand people. So I've been around the block one or two times. And the one thing that people do that I just, I don't even bother doing it anymore is people ask, oh, are you clean? Or I'm DDF, meaning drug and disease free. Are you? I personally, I don't even bother asking that question anymore. And that's got to sound insane, right? But let me ask you this. Let's say that, you know, we were to go back in time and you were to, let's say the dating apps around back then. And let's say you were to match with uh, Jeffrey Dahmer on one of the dating apps. And you were to ask him, by the way, are you going to kill and eat me? Do you really think he's going to say yes to you? No, he's going to say no, of course not. I would never do that. Same exact thing applies here. I don't even bother asking that because either A, someone's going to tell the truth and they are actually clean, or B, they're not clean, in which case they're going to lie. They're going to say, oh yeah, I'm clean. No, I can't think of a single circumstance that I've ever come across in which someone has been completely open and honest with that question. Um, so... How do you avoid SCDs and STIs? First and foremost, and it blows my mind, I even had a human sexuality professor in undergrad who didn't know about this. This is the single most important thing. There's a medication out there called PrEP or Truvada. It's the same thing. Most prescriptions have two names. So PrEP or Truvada is a once daily pill that you just take every single day kind of like a woman who takes birth control, and it completely prevents HIV. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So if you were on PrEP, you could go have sex with 20 people who have HIV, and you would not contract it. It's probably one of the greatest medications ever invented. So if you're not on PrEP or Truvada, I highly recommend getting on it. And I have lost count of how many people I know who have contracted HIV or other SCDs and STIs when they themselves didn't actually do anything. They just assumed, oh, I'm in a relationship. My partner's monogamous. They would never cheat. Bruh. Don't make that mistake. Don't be that guy or girl. I have heard that story so many times. It's unreal where someone contracts HIV because their partner was screwing around. So even if you're only having sex with one person, get on PrEP or Truvada as soon as humanly possible. Hell, even if you're a nurse or a doctor, you know, you can accidentally, you know, prick yourself with a needle. So now that we have eliminated HIV from the list, everything else is treatable. Also, one thing I do want to mention and there's a lot of misconceptions about this, is um, herpes. A lot of people think, oh yeah, you know, I just wear a condom or whatever. Condoms do not actually prevent herpes. I forget the actual statistic, but it's something like 94% of people actually have herpes by the time they're 30 years old or something. It's, it's insane. So that I wouldn't even factor. So really, what do you have left? You have gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, all that stuff. The single best piece of advice I can give you when it comes to avoiding those, well, we're going to get to the advice part in a sec. First, I'm going to tell you a story. So I remember one time, and this was kind of one of those moments that it changed my entire view on everything, was uh, one time I had a studio shoot in, I think it was San Diego. And it was a double tested shoot, meaning everyone who was on uh, the scene got tested two weeks before, and then we flew to San Diego, and we all got tested the night before. You would think that's safe, right? That's a big mistake a lot of people make, too, is, oh, I have test results from three days ago, or I have test results from four days ago. That means absolutely nothing to me, and I'm going to tell you why. So, everyone been tested two weeks before and the night before. You would think I'd be safe, right? Wrong. 
I, you know, I shot the scene, got home, hadn't had sex with anyone else. Two days later, I go to pee at the bathroom and I know what that feeling is. Sure enough, I had gonorrhea, <gasps> which means that either A, one of the people on the shoot used someone else's piss or B, someone couldn't keep their sexual urges under control for 12 whole hours. So it was kind of at that moment that I stopped trusting the whole, oh, I got tested three days ago. I mean, I know people who have been tested three months ago, and they haven't been with anyone since then. And I know other people who've been tested one or two days ago, and they've been with 20 people since then. So I personally, based on the thousand plus people I've been with, I have learned that test results do not mean anything. The only situation, you know, will they minimize? I don't even know if they minimize risk. Bruh. I mean, unless you actually, you know, depending on where you live, there are certain places, especially if you live in like a, a big porn city, like, you know, Vegas, uh, Miami, LA, San Diego, Fort Lauderdale, they will have numerous uh, testing facilities that offer overnight testing. But that can get expensive. I mean, overnight testing is not cheap. And if you're doing that every single time. So the single best thing I have found for avoiding STDs and avoiding STIs is to trust your gut. I mean, I actually contract less things now shooting nothing but raw content than I did when I would only use condoms. I actually caught more stuff using condoms for a shoot than I do now. So the things that I look for when it comes to avoiding SCDs and STIs, I look around at the type of person. I look at the way they text. I look at what they do for a living. You know, when I go to their place, you know, is it nice and clean? Does this person look like someone who's, you know, responsible? I look at, you know, just what is the type of impression that this person gives you? Do they come across like a responsible person who takes their life and their health seriously? Um, you know, or does this person look like, you know, just your stereotypical hedonist where it's whatever feels good right now, I'm going to do it no matter what the consequences are. Because if it's that guy, I can pretty much guarantee you're going to catch something from him. Um, so really I've just, I found that in my experience, in my humble opinion, the single best way to avoid STDs and STIs is to trust your gut. Look at, you know, the way they talk, look at the way they dress, like just ask yourself, you know, and I'll actually give you an example. Going back to the studio shoot, um, the two gentlemen I shot with in that one of the guys, was also a bodybuilder. Um, he was in school. He was working on his PhD, like really organized, really meticulous, seemed to really, really have his stuff together and was in the adult industry just as a way to fund school. The second guy, he was a total minimus, minimalist, like hippie, free love, whatever feels good, I'm going to do it. Who do you think I caught the gonorrhea from? Let me know down below in the comments. But this is just, you know, this is based on my experience, what works for me. However, I, you know, I'm going to go back to it. I cannot stress it again. HIV, once you get that, you're done for, especially if you're straight. If you're straight and you have HIV, good luck finding a sexual partner. Gay community, they're a lot more forgiving of that. But get on prep, even if you're just having sex with one person, it is not, I don't want you to turn into another one of those heartbreaking stories that I hear where you contracted it from your partner because they cheated and insurance does cover prep slash Truvada. So please get on that. Anything else you catch, it's curable in a week. So, you know, it's not the end of the world is not the end of the world. And as far as the stigma or whatever, who cares? Who cares? You know, shit happens to everyone. Everyone is, you know, again, you know, there are always exceptions, but the vast majority of people are probably going to catch something 
once or twice in their life. If it happens, don't be ashamed of it. Go in, just get it treated. You know, it's not the end of the world. Bruh. Anyways, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you're interested, you can find me on social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, just for fans, only fans, and uh, oh yeah, TikTok. That's the other one. Just at Masculine Jason, one word. Uh, the Facebook is Masculine Jason Official. With that being said, go out there and do the right thing. Get on prep or Truvada as soon as humanly possible. Hope you have an amazing week. Love you all.